So today we have another French train system going in. Uh, we can go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start it here. You can hear and kind of see the moisture sitting in there. Just like the other ones, it's just a slight swell in between this house and this house with the gutters dropping water in there. So we're gonna run the French drain under the fence, with a couple catch basins down this area. You, we're gonna tie in this downspout, bring it over here, put in a solid pipe to drain the water out to the street. We're gonna be cutting the concrete here to give it enough slope. You can see how there's just a swell that sits in between the houses and it just holds water and there's nowhere for it to go because this area over here was just built up a little higher. Now that we got the trench dug, get that gravel in there. You can see how wet this area is. Uh, so we got two inches of gravel in here and we're gonna start laying our pipe uh, with the catch basins and the sock around it. And then we can cover everything back up and send it out to the street. Once you get your two inches of gravel uh, down below, you're gonna wanna lay that pipe down, hose down of course, and fill around the entire pipe with gravel. So water can get into the gravel drain uh, and fall into that pipe. Now you don't really wanna do a landscape fabric around the entire trench, because the landscape fabric isn't meant to allow water flow to go through. It's more meant to help with erosion and keep weeds out. So that water is gonna keep uh, that fabric's gonna keep water sitting on the outside of the trench and not allow it to get into that pipe like you want. So the best option is go with one of these sleeves. You can see the little holes in it. It's meant to allow water flow. The, this is what they're designed for. So you wanna do the sleeve on the actual pipe. That prevents any clogging of the pipe, but it also allows a lot, all that water to get into that pipe and all the water to fall into the gravel without any restrictions. Now you can put fabric on the outside of the trench. We recommend a drainage fabric that allows the water to get through. The problem is over time it can rip and when you're trying to pull it over, it could rip uh, with the gravel and so it kind of defeats the purpose. As well as once you fold it over the top, that grass right there won't have anywhere to spread its roots. And so the grass will end up just dying off. And what's good, what's good about a drain if you can't have grass over the drain? So we avoid this landscape fabric. You really don't want to put landscape fabric in there because it is woven and it allows water to get through, but it is meant to restrict water flow. So the water's not going to get in as quickly and it's going to cause it to sit on these outsides. So what we do is we use this specially designed sleeve that's meant for this, meant for this exact purpose. And then we use a PVC piping with these large holes. We don't like the corrugated because it has a small slit set. If anything gets in there, it's gonna get clogged. So you want a PVC with these large holes and the sleeve wraps, you know, right, right around it. And it's pretty loose so that when it's in that trench with the gravel around it, you have no issues of clogging. So we're all set. We got the saw back on top. Hard to tell a pipe was ever there. Got your catch basins. You want to test it. You can see the water moving through there. You always want to test to make sure that it's done beforehand. Testing it back here. So it runs all the way down. Turns into solid pipe. Just finishing up this last area. And you can see the water flowing out smoothly.